At risk of Democrats losing control of Congress, President Biden tonight with this warning if Republicans win. We're often not faced with questions of whether the vote we cast will preserve democracy or put us at risk. But this year we are. Former President Obama reinforcing that argument while campaigning for vulnerable Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto in Nevada. But Republicans like Masto's opponent Adam Laxalt are focusing on the economy and rising crime. Now, of course, she's doing her, her election year turnaround and trying to pretend that she supports the police. But I can tell you, when you talk to cops in Nevada, they're not buying it. Another competitive Senate race, Ohio. Democrat Tim Ryan on defense over inflation. A voter asking, is green energy spending in what Democrats dub the Inflation Reduction Act actually lowering prices? In the short term, no. I think when it comes to inflation, we need a tax cut. We need to put money in people's pockets. Republican J.D. Vance, who questioned the 2020 results, was pressed if he'll accept the outcome next week. If things don't go the way that I expect, I'll support uh, the guy who wins. Then there's the tight race here in Georgia. Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock facing Republican Herschel Walker. Democrat Nicole Davis, the owner of a printing business and mother of three, telling us she's backing Warnock. In your eyes, what's on the ballot next week? On the ballot, to be honest, my family, my future, um, my business. She benefited from President Biden's student loan forgiveness and trusts Democrats on abortion rights. I have had friends who have been put in those situations. I can't imagine if they did not have the choice. We first met fifth generation farmer Drew Eccles during President Biden's first months in office. A Republican who told us back then he was impressed with the president. I think Biden's doing a lot of positive things. He's, you know, people have confidence. But he's not giving President Biden high marks anymore. Are you still satisfied? No, I'm not very satisfied. He told us he's voting for Walker. What's your biggest frustration right now? My biggest frustration right this second is the fact that it's costing me more to live day to day. It's also costing me more to run my business day to day. Everybody's hurting right now. We're taking it on the chin. Peter, Georgia voters have already been showing up in record numbers for the midterms. Lester, as of this afternoon, more than two million Georgians have already cast their vote, but notably among the state's youngest voters, just 8 percent have voted so far. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.